Hello YouTube. So here we have our charging system. Um, we have a 40 amp MPPT Renogy solar charger. We've got two 200 amp hour gel batteries. We have a 3000 watt modified sine wave power inverter. We're going to upgrade it to a pure sine wave inverter as soon as we can, but this will let us get by for now. We have 400 watts of solar on our roof, and I wanted to talk about Renogy, the company itself. So all of our solar components are from Renogy. It's a company based in Canada, and they've been fantastic. Uh, they have, for, with our experience, they've had great customer service. They've had uh, wonderful tech support. When we took our bus on our honeymoon, these batteries functioned phenomenally. Uh, it wasn't until a couple months later when we got back that one of them started to uh, go bad on us. Uh, it was a, a refurbished battery, and luckily it was within the return time. So uh, all they had us do was take the battery to a local auto shop, say AutoZone, O'Reilly's, wherever you have, and have them test the battery. We tested it, and it showed that it wasn't holding a charge, and it, that verified what we figured out before that... Whenever we had it hooked up and we were charging it, once we unhooked the charger, it would immediately drop down in voltage. It wasn't holding a charge. So we uh, went through that process. We talked to customer support. They were fantastic. Within one week, they sent us a brand new battery. We took the old one to get recycled. No questions asked. All done. All you have to do is get the battery tested at one of those auto shops and have them print out a little ticket that says basically the battery's bad and that's our experience with Renergy it's been fantastic from day one they're a great company uh, fantastic products solar panels are real durable they're they've been up there all winter no problems these batteries are great they if anything happens we don't have to worry about any spillage or if they break open it's just going to be contained in this one little area because it's gel it's not a lead acid or a liquid of type and that's pretty much it that's our solar and electronic setup down here underneath the bed where it is freezing the taillights thanks